Woods. Today I'm hooked up to a big bluefish caught on a feeding frenzy with a casting jig. I was collecting some live bait with the sabiki when I saw the fish feeding a float, and I immediately cast a 40 gram jig thinking there were small tuna or chub mackerels. And instead I hooked up a huge bluefish which with its strength began to jump out of the water and produce rapid and violent escapes. to oppose his escapes by keeping the real drag low and I try to tire him by moving with the kayak, keeping the road tip low so he doesn't jump out of the water. The jig used is a 40 gram Olympus Nekiri, a new Olympus metal jig which due to its weight is very compact and allows a long cast. It is equipped with a mustard hussy stook in the head and a treble hook in the tail. I change the route direction and pass the road from the left to the right side of the kayak. I keep pedaling to tow the fish and tire him, trying to retrieve a bit of line whenever possible. The tackle I'm using consists of an Abu Garcia Victis spinning rod, combined with a Panspin Fisher 4500 Series 5 reel. The Abu Garcia Victis rod is a 198 cm long one piece rod with a 30 ton carbon blank, V carbon tip construction, rocks guides, stainless steel guides with zirconium inserts, high density EVA, and a soft touch up locking reel seat. This rod was engineered to be lightweight with increased end sensitivity. It weighs 150 grams, has a medium heavy action and a casting power of 45 grams, ideal for many lures to be used inshore. The handle is short and this feature makes it ideal for use from the kayak, where the seated position and the life jacket would make the use of rods with a long handle more complicated. The matching reel is the Panspin Fisher 4500 Series 5, which I have had for many years, a real war machine. Despite being in seawater for 20 minutes, it is still fully functional after the internal cleaning intervention. The 5 Series already had a sealed body and drag although it did not yet have the HyPX5 approval, like the current 6 series. The 4500 has a max drag of 11.25 kg, 25 pounds, or a weight of 435 grams, 15.4 ounces, while the current model has a max drag of 9 kg, 20 pounds for a weight of 354 grams, 12.5 ounces. A fully metal reel, ideal for saltwater fishing. When the fish has lost its strength and has stopped making sudden vigorous starts, I try to bring him closer to the kayak. By now, the fish is on the surface just under the surface of the water and tries some last timid escape with the little strength left.
take my Savage Gear Profinet XL landing net. A floating landing net with a short handle and a deep rubber mesh that prevents hooks from snagging. Approach the bluefish to the kayak and land it with some difficulty. Some 6 kg bluefish. In addition to the Nemo silver color used in the video, the Nakiri is also produced in the Nemo red, sardine, pink, dolphinfish, and rainbow colors. The weights available are 30, 40, and 60 grams. This new metal jig is part of the Ghost series distributed by Olympus. Excellent for spinning shore jigging or can also be used for vertical fishing from the boat in larger weights. Casting jig with an elongated shape. This allows both very long cast and linear retrieves without effort, as the jig will be able to cut both the hair and the water in a much more effective way given its aerodynamics. Its characteristic is to have a fast sinking action and thanks to its glow parts even in the deepest seabed, it remains visible to predators and simulates an excellent bait. Comes with a high quality travel look and a mustard hook. The only discordant note is that the hook is directly connected to the jig slot. In my opinion, it is appropriate to disassemble the hook and insert a split ring that carries a solid ring to which the hesistook will be tied. This modification gives the Hesistook greater mobility, which will improve the strike of the fish.